Welcome back, everybody. Joining us now on the show is a Longhorn legend. It's former quarterback Case McCoy, who's not only a quarterback, but also an actor and a businessman. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me on. I want to talk to you about your business, first of all, because you've gotten into a new venture called CoachTube, which I understand is kind of like a YouTube, but involving a lot of coaches. How did you get involved with this? Yeah, you know, I've, I've always had a passion for coaching mm -hmm. um, and, and for kids getting a fair, play, a fair level for a playing field. Mm -hmm. um, and so... I found this group, and, and, it, and what CoachTube is, is it's an online market for coaching content. Uh, it's a great, you know, our target isn't just coaches, and it isn't just athletes. It's for, one, coaches to have a free place to put your content and, and for people to find it easily. Um, two, for kids all over the world to have this chance to, to, find, this, to find this coaching of whatever sport you're interested in. Um, and, and three, not only that, say, say your son's Little League baseball team, you don't know how to you don't know how to teach a steal from first to second base, and, and you want to learn from the greatest coach there is. Uh, you know, we have, we have some incredible coaches on, on the side, and uh, it's, just, it's just an awesome platform that I was fortunate enough to, to be sought out and be a part of. Yeah. I think it's just very interesting that it's not just football because there's so many football uh, videos out there and self-help tapes, that type mm -hmm. of thing. But this involves so many different sports where if I'm a parent, which I am, and if one of my kids decides to get into some crazy different type of sport, it's probably there to find, get them some help. Oh, yeah, for sure. And, and obviously, a lot of my part is, is football because that's yeah. my background. <laughs> yeah. But, no, we have, we have from soccer to swimming to baseball. I mean, we, anything that you're really looking for, and really, I mean, anything, yeah. the, the, the sport that you're interested in, you, you can probably find on Coach Tube. And if it's not there, tell us, and we'll get it on there. So um, it's growing, and, and we're excited about where, where it's going to take off. And, you know, it, it's for people in, interested, www.coachtube.com, and, and just explore the site. And, we're and, you know, we're open to anything. We think it's great. We think we're the best in, in, that, in that market, and, and we're going to continue to grow and, and, and make, make it a fair playing level on a fair playing field for anyone that wants to wants to seek out coaching content. Now, let's be honest. You've thought you're the best at everything you've ever done. That's just your personality, isn't it? Well, you got to think it, right? <laughs> you got to think it. So, I'm afraid to put my, you know, my content on there and not have any not get any money pitched back because no one's buying my content. So, that's why we're trying to get Colt to put his on there. <laughs> was it was it fun tough for you growing up you and Colt and your brother, uh, all three of you having a father as a coach and playing underneath him? Yeah, and, and, you know, if you ask my mom that, it might be a different answer because at, at dinner she had to say, time out, yeah. we're talking about family stuff, and he stopped coaching. But, no, it, it was, you know, it was a positive for us. And as we all went on to play collegiate sports, and, you know, and I think for us we learned a lot early about, about coaching, about being coachable because mm -hmm. um, we were always having to be coachable. And, um, you know, our, our, our father wasn't just our football coach. You know, he was our basketball in small schools in West Texas. So, <laughs> Um, it, it, it was it was an awesome opportunity. I wouldn't change it. wasn't always easy, but mm -hmm. um, I definitely had a step ahead of a lot of kids that didn't have that. That you know that that's 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 where Coach Tube comes into play for for a lot of those kids that that don't grow up with a father in their household, but their father for for the son and the and the father or the daughter and the father um, or whatever the relationship is. It's you. The father can see. Hey, I can learn how to be a better coach mm -hmm. for this Little League team. You know, when you followed Colt in high school, you didn't go to the same high school because your, your dad switched from, mm -hmm. from Tuscola over to, to Graham. Was that good for you back in high school that you weren't following in his footsteps? You know, it was, uh, it was fun to leave. I, I don't know what it was about me, but I always loved going to a new place yeah. and starting again. You know, my real name is Casey, and I hated that, so I wanted my <laughs> name to change. So I was like, let's move, and let me change my name to Case. <laughs> And after about three moves, I got to go early. My mom had to stay back and finish up the year teaching so I could tell everyone I was Case, and she couldn't call me Casey in front of them. <laughs> but so I, that was the biggest part for me. I mean, I, what, I was seventh grader. Yeah. Um, but, no, it was, it was fun to get out and, and continue to, you know, I wasn't necessarily out of his shadow because by the time I started in Graham, he was already, you know, finishing up his redshirt year on national championship and mm -hmm. start, starting up here. But, um, you know, it was, it, was, it was fun for me to go get a new start, um, I'd seen my dad coach him through his time, and I was, I was going to get the same coaching, and that, that was always a goal for me was to match him step for step all throughout my career. Which in a lot of ways you did. Well, you know, I don't have my name in the stadium, <laughs> but, you know, we, we, well, we got some good memories. Talking about the stadium, did you ever, were you ever tempted to not follow him, though, to UT, to, to have your own path in college like you did in high school? Oh, yeah, of course, and, and that's, you know, that's what a lot of the, of the recruiters at that time wanted to pitch, you know. Go be go be Eli. Eli didn't follow. Eli didn't follow yeah. Peyton, and mm -hmm. so 
um, that was definitely that was definitely a thought. But I grew up around Texas. I grew up around Coach Brown, um, and and all those coaches there. From you know, I remember Vince having to kick me out of his locker all the time after games because <laughs> I was just the little brother to all them running around. Uh -huh. So, how tough was it on you? Because I know watching fans, you know, around the newsroom, around the city, when it was was it going to be Case McCoy or David Ash or even Garrett Gilbert, whoever it was going to be, there was a, a lot of discussions about who should be the quarterback. Did y'all really know what was going on, or was it a case of it's game time, you got chosen? Game time, he got chosen. Well, most of the time it wasn't. I remember that before the A&M game, uh, he told me on the field that I was starting, uh, which for me as a sophomore going to that game, probably the best thing he could have done. He probably <laughs> knew that. Um, but fortunately for us, it was and, – and a lot of guys say this, but it was about the team, and it was. And, and we all knew the – you know, the – the positive things we could bring to the team. We also knew the things that we need to work on and get better to, to help the team be better. And whether that was um, me be on me be on the field on first down, David on the second down. You know, not ideal for either one of us, but if that's what that's what's going to happen, that's what's going to happen. And David David was a great guy. Um, Garrett was a great guy. Two of my two of my really good friends. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, th th those ideal situations you can ask. Chance Mock and some of those guys, you can ask Major, all those guys had, had that deal. Playing at Texas, there's always going to be competition. So, um, well, you know. your, your brother went through it with Jevin Sneed as a, as yeah, a freshman. Of course, of course. And there's, that's, that, that's, there's, it's good because they see the competition come out and you, your competitive nature. And uh, that, that, that was, that was not, not the worst part of my time at Texas. You mentioned earlier about not wanting to play against Texas. Mm -hmm. You're in a movie, and, and uh, am I wrong <laughs> saying that you're an Arkansas quarterback? I am. I'm the bad guy. Wow. <laughs> it's the story about Freddie Steinmark from 1969. If you're playing Bill Montgomery, that means you throw a crucial interception to a Longhorn. I How do. tough was that for you to do that? I do, and more than one. Uh, <laughs> you know, there, were, there was a few interceptions in that game, but one crucial one. Yeah. And um, you know, it, it, that's what I always say when everyone says you were in the movie and you were you were the bad guy. I was like, well, I gave it away to the right team. So uh, I did. We didn't change history in the movie. It's still the same, and and Texas wins, but. Um, like I said, it, it was truly just an honor to be a part. Had a bunch of great guys out there, great athletes, and, and the football looks as real as can be. So I'm excited for when they put a release date on it and people are able to go see it because um, it, it's truly a special movie and a special story that will touch people, not just football fans. Um, it'll touch anyone who just loves inspirational, motivational movies. And maybe an Academy Award coming for Case McCoy. <laughs> Any chance of that? No way. No, no way. way. First well, and last. I'm done with that. <laughs> We're just trying to get him something besides business <laughs> and football. We appreciate joining, joining us, and good luck with Coach Two. Hey, thanks. You too. Very good. It's Case McCoy. We'll be right back with more on At KV Sports.